Right, what's my topic? Um, well, the, I ain't really got one. <laughs> the, other, the other day, I found a toy and was like, like an action figure. I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck is this from? Tweeted it. The brethren and sister. No one seemed to know. And then, was it? It was Pullen. Was it Pullen? It was Pullen. The main man, the man Pullen. Yeah, 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 Mr. Marty. Who, by the way, thanks a lot for our little gifts. Oh, yeah, tell, tell him about your little f- gifts. Yeah, he got us um, a couple of, like, cool, like, Japanese, like, they're like mugs, but beakers, like, a weird mix between them two, aren't they? <laughs> Freaky baby. Uh, like, a weird mix between mugs and beakers. They're kind of what Japanese people it was, drink tea it out was, of. Anyway. It was the pollen. Yeah. Um, he got us a couple of them. He sent us some Kit Kats to do on biscuit sandwiches, which we're going to record soon. So. Coming Tuesday. Coming Tuesday. Um, he also got us uh, like a thing for our keys and like a money box type thing as well. I think what a beautiful him. man. What a beautiful man. Um, yeah, so and he solved your Ghostbusters fiasco. Not Ghostbusters. Thundercats. Yeah, which it was Safari Joe. Yeah. Which, what a shit name for a bad guy. But what a cool looking bad guy. Well, it looks like... He's got everything a bad guy needs. He's got a monocle, no, he's got a cash, he's got it a looks, It looks like the Monopoly guys trying to be Bear Grylls. No, it looks like... Because he's in an Explorer robotic. outfit. Yeah. But it looks like the Monopoly dude. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so so just sort of toys and shit. We well, yeah, I'm with. just looking now at Action Man. Cause that was Tell cool. people... I had I, that one. All right, calm down. People can't see. Well, that was my kind of toys as a kid was Action Man. The greatest hero of, of them all. all. Yeah, which was... It, to be fair, it was pretty awesome. Do you remember that one? The, the one that you twisted his wrist off? No. He was like he oh, had nunchucks. Oh, samurai one. Yeah, I do actually. He had nunchucks, and then you kept twisting his wrist round. Yeah, I remember. And like that. he'd spin his nunchucks real fast, like Aah! like which right, proper so, at his hand. So like for for people outside of England, they've tried to make uh, yeah. him take off um, in the states and stuff, but I don't think it ever did. Um, it like came around in like the fifties or maybe early sixties, mm. um, where they were trying to. He's like get dolls to. Boy, it's one yeah, because they were the more the size, like are they like twelve inch? Yeah, of, yeah, maybe size, um, and they're like Barbie dolls, but yeah. dudes. They all look like Ken, but they made the most manliest person ever, though, didn't they? Like they made a point of making it like as manly as possible. Like he's ripped and he's got like a tank top, square on, jaw, like, and, he's got, like, he's, and he got a scar on his face. Yeah, 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 on his cheek. Yeah, uh, so he's actually. He's Action Man. <laughs> There's a Hitler one there. All the same dude. Is it just yes, one dude? Yes, it's the same dude. And he fought... Who uh, can swim, can fucking... Yeah, he can do it all. Fly to the moon, his hands. spin his hands. Fucking ride a big jeep. I had a jeep. That in six, oh, my God. that came out. I had, I had the moon one. There was an Action he, one. And he had a one. moon buggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that. what else I had was the jeep, right? And he'd sit in the jeep. And Oh, no, no. I had the jeep and I had the car. And the car's the thing that I'm thinking about that was more exciting. It was a convertible, and you pushed on the boot, and then the boot would come up, and there was, like, missiles, like a missile launcher in the boot, and then you press a button, it like, fire missiles over the car. That was cool. Oh, wait, I remember getting that for Christmas. Action you? Man. It's a licensed copy of G.I. Joe for Britain. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? It's a similar sort yeah, of Yeah, but I, I remember the Little Joes mm. when I was a kid. Yeah. I didn't have the big ones. They did have Little Action Men, but... I remember it being a McDonald's toy for a while, Little Action Men. Right, so the reason probably why it was a big thing for you... The greatest hero of them all! Because they came out from 1966 to 1984. Yeah. Then they shut down production, and they came out again in 1993, and you was born in oh, 92. Yeah, so that makes sense. So, like, it'll evolve, and they're still going since then. So it'll have been all the rage. Um, I remember... When she was a kid. Watching... Right, a cartoon. This is the most brutal thing ever, actually. I remember watching one of the um, cartoon programs. It was probably like Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network or something. I think it was Cartoon Network. Nick, 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 and Nick, Nick, Nick. On the, is, is, do you remember the bad guy, Dr. X? Yeah. Right. You would... And fucking go. Gangrene. <laughs> um, there was this whole bit where he, he was... The advert finished with Dr. X hanging off the edge of a cliff. An action man stood over him like do you know like as in like is he gonna save him or not and then you had to vote in like over the phone so you had to i had it 
So you had to ring in and vote as to whether in the next advert, Action Man would let Dr. X fall to his death or would save Action Man. Uh, or would save Dr. That's X. That's brutal, but kind of cool. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, is they said if, you know, if they voted for him to die, then they'd bring out a new baddie, which I think was gangrene. Um, Professor Gangrene. That's the, I had that exact toy. So all the kids... This was 1997. Yeah, so it'd be about right. I'd be about five when I said... Yeah, the um, all the kids voted for Action Man just to let Dr. X fall to his death. So then there was just this brutal advert of, like, Dr. X hanging, like, with his arm up, like, going, like, yeah, it's funny. But, yeah, Dr. X just being like, help, help. And then Action Man just being like, no. And Dr. X just fall into his death, which was quite a brutal advert. Yeah, I had this gangrene toy. And gangrene also, he had a little water pistol. I don't know if it shows it in any of them. He had a little water pistol and like a tank on his back and you fill it up and then he could like squirt his little water gun. But Dr. X was a cool ass buddy. He was pretty cool, wasn't he? He was bitchy. He looks like Frank Walster. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> he looks like our TV man. Lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dr. X was a cool buddy. He was like, well, like purple, didn't he? And he was like an old He's ripped He's proper man. like ripped now with like veins and shit. Mm. Proper vascularity. But it wasn't he part robot? Want the story of Dr. X that he was part robot? Well, yeah, he's got like a robot I'm sure eye. sure he had like a robot eye and a robot arm or something. And Yeah, yeah, I think like his... Yeah, and in his head... Oh, his head was open! Yeah, th- that, I had that toy, I had that exact one where he's got like a Mohican and the side of his head's open, you can just see his robot brain. Maybe that's why he's so good at fixing toys. What a toys. fucking cool-ass buddy Dr. Cool, X was, and Gangrene was. Mm. Gangrene just mm. looked a bit like um, um, Doc Brown. <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah, I remember that and um, the game. The game. I remember the game being awesome. I'm sure it was fucking terrible. But... Well, there was more than one game, which I find quite incredible. Mm, because they want a big thing worldwide. G.I. Joe game? Yeah. I don't even remember them as a kid. Maybe they did come mm. out. I don't really remember that many. No, Not to the extent of the remember. Action Man game. But, yeah, the Action Man game that I played, the first level was a top-down car bit like GTA... And you had to, like, shoot your way through the streets and stuff. And he was in the streets. And you used that convertible that I had the toy of. And then the next level, it was like a third-person shooter. And there was this... I remember just a giant plant, and you had to go find this poison to kill the plant and stuff. Mm. But, like, Action Man was a massive part of my childhood, like, growing up. And um, it just makes me laugh because of how, like, you look back at it now. And he's such, like, a stereotype of what a man should be. And, like, he's, like, ripped and he's, like, in the jungle. All toys are, though. Yeah, they are, generally. Like, look at Barbie. I mean, it was kind of the similar thing to Barbie, wasn't it? Of, like, this is what a woman should be. And Sim Action Man was very much, this is what a man should be. Um, but, yeah, Action Man was cool. Action Ken was, really was like, cool. this is what a gay man should be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I really remember... Um, there's a few sort of things I remember from being a kid. Mm. I mean, everything just used to be... Um, TV shows just used to yeah sell toys. They yeah they used to like, come up with I, characters that will that will be better. Like toys. my my sort of gen- your generation kind of grew out of that a bit. Yeah, and it was more like there was toy lines, but the TV shows were just there to sell yeah, toys. Yeah. It was like that was their marketing. Yeah, it like, was weird because like biker mice from Mars and stuff like that. Like, yeah, that that was just like right. What would be fucking cool? Yeah, some fucking anthropomorphic mice yeah with just fucking they had anthropomorphic everything though back then yeah that's true even sharks that's true that's true <laughs> but um street sharks but like there used to, there used to be a, a, a toy called Polly Pockets the yeah, probably still Pockets, is which yeah. was a girl sort of like um like a clam yeah in uh, yeah. case and you open it up and there's like a little diorama like a little in house inside you got this little girl and um that was made by Bluebed Toys mm. and in 92 or 93 92 maybe um, they were like, we could do this shit for boys. Yeah. So like, right, Mighty Max. So Mighty Max was cool. Yeah, they were all like cl- these clamshell things. I had quite a few. I had the spider one. I had you the Kerber one. Cobra, I had the yeah. skull one. I I had I had ton of ton of these. Um, you had a big castle as well, didn't you? That thing there. Yeah, that it was thing like there. a mountain, and uh, it opened up, and yeah, it was. It was actually pretty baller. That is cool. Um, yeah, you had like a little area. For so yeah, so it was time. like these little clamshell things open up, little diorama, and then um, to even more be like, 
um, the TV shows. There was a Mighty Max TV show that came out mm. just to sell them. They had already come out, and then Blue Boy Toys was like, "Right, we need to sell these. Let's yeah. make a TV show." Yeah. And then the Mighty Mighty uh, with uh, Rob Paulson, I think, was voiced Max. Right. And um, yeah, they were like, "Right, okay, let's just fucking do this shit." And then yeah, there was a video game and stuff, which I never actually had the video game. When I was we should get our hands on that. Was that for SNES? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Mighty Max, that was a big fucking deal when I was a kid, yeah. Biker Mice from Mars, again, that was just something where they, they just think... It was called Skull Mountain, by the way, that big toy. I find it weird um, that Ninja Turtles took off as much as they did, because Ninja Turtles sort of that same thing, in it, of just, like, was pretty much there to sell toys. And... Oh, of course, Ninja Turtles toys were ridiculous. Yeah. Like, they started cool, like... And the, the April and Neil toy was, like, super rare, yeah. but I had three of them. But I didn't know at the time that there was a rare toy. It was just, that's yeah, what I just got for a Christmas. Like, one Christmas, I got three Aprils of three yeah. different people. And I was like, oh, this sucks. But then apparently it was like a super rare toy, and I got like three of them in a box somewhere. I'd, why don't you sell one? I don't know. I might do. The, I um, really care. Are, do you remember, like, the that's the thing with toys where you couldn't just get, you couldn't just walk into a shop and get the Ninja Turtles. Just, there's them four Ninja Turtles with their weapons. It would be like, Aqua Ninja Turtle or like yeah, Space I, Turtle or Yeah, I, I had the one that you wound up in the bath and it swam with like this tank yeah, thing yeah, that like, held and there was It there was, was the same the, with all the of them though. Sports ones and, and everything like that. And then there was the uh like samurai line that came with the third movie. And you look at and any of them like like Batman or Spider Man or whatever and you you was like, Right, I just wanna go and get a a, a, a toy a figure. I had the Batman toy where you pulled his like belt out and it was like uh, a winder yeah. thing and it just used to shoot up to the yeah. thing. Uh, but I think I was sn- broke about three. I think I had three of them in the They end, broke really easy though, didn't the, they? Yeah. The belt thing. Um, but it yeah, was like it was, the Michael Keaton sort of Batman. There was, kind of you could never like just go and get the toy of that thing. It was always like... Because it would just be that the factory like is trying to get as much variance on this character as possible in order to sell as, as many as possible. And um, it's like the Lego... like. Um, Lego kind of do it now where I bought a Lego set and it was like comes with um, something like Aqua Batman or like Deep Sea Batman or something what the fuck's he doing why is he in the sea no like Batman don't go, like give me Aquaman if you want someone in the sea that's his job like I don't want Aqua Batman mm. it's like when you see the Spider-Man I bought my <coughs> friend a Spider-Man just because I thought it was cool but it was like a, a um, Spider-Man on a quad bike. Yeah. So what the fuck's he doing on a quad bike? Just go. He can fly pretty much. Mm. Like, why is he on a quad bike? You know, like... So there, was, there was tons of stuff. There was like... Um, Turtles had loads of that shit, didn't they? Yeah, like, Captain Planet was a weird one because it was a... Uh, it was a TV show trying to teach you... Captain Planet. Yeah, it was trying to teach you to um, save the environment. <laughs> um, and there was like... It's like um, Captain Novelin then. Kind of, but it was a TV show. That was him. Uh, I do remember, remember him, actually. And each one had a ring, like, one was, like, Earth, Fire, all that sort of shit. Um, yeah, and that was, uh, and Whoopi Goldberg is. was in it, which was great. Cool. Um, so there was that stuff, there was Bucky O'Hare, again, yeah, which was, Bucky like, um, yeah. I don't think there was that many series of Bucky O'Hare, but I, I no. remember it was all, it always used to be on. They had weird um, baddies, didn't it, though? Like, weird... Big turd things. So yeah, turd things, yeah. yeah, green things. Um, and there was, um... Yeah, there was all sorts of I just shit like that. missed figures. Yeah. And toys. James Bond Jr. There was... Um, that, again, that was a TV show that, that was on quite... There seemed to be quite a lot, but I don't know how many I've got a Joker it, figure so. downstairs, and I ain't taking it out of the box. Maybe I should take it out of the box. You take everything out of the box. I know, but I kept it in because I quite like the box as well. There was one as well, which I had all the toys for. I had all the toys for Thundercats, every single one of them. Even I had the big sword that lit up. Mm-hmm. I had um, all the Ghostbusters ones. I had the yeah. fire, fire station with the thing that went down. Did you have the Ecto-1? Yeah, yeah, I had the Ecto-1. Yeah, and I had a grappling hook in the back. Oh, uh, did it? And That's when you cool. moved it, the grappling hook like came back. Oh, so um, cool. I had um, all the like obscure baddies that were on like, one episode of the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had the, uh, uh, the ghost trap thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember and that, yeah. And it used to have a thing that you put your foot on and it yeah. would open up. But I think it was like air. Because it had this like rubber tube in. And I think it was the thingy from the air that used to trigger it oh, to like okay. open up or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Cool fun fact. Um, I ju- 
I tried using that because it was like the box that you put the the trap in. Yeah. Then it was like this thing where the air went down, and then this thing. I tried fucking lassoing that onto my garage and using it as a rope to climb up. Well, surely that would never work. It never. Yeah, but when you're fucking yeah, yeah, a kid, you don't think about shit like that. Um, there was one little Dracula. Um, which that was that thing. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do remember that. And there was this uh, dude yeah, with like, like a like garlic a gun I had. And, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, there was that. I had... Um, oh, I remember I had the... I think this was from Bucky O'Hare. The Crook ship. Yeah. And it used to like croak when you rocked it back and forth. Then when you like um, think about it, like you didn't give a fuck what it was from, did you? Like you oh, were going to a to toy shop. They all used to fight each yeah, other. Yeah, and you'd be like, I don't give a fuck what that was from. I just it looks cool. It's got a Power cool Rangers, gun. fucking Street Sharks. Street Sharks. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. That was a, yeah. That they were just fucking just rad. ripped sharks in the streets. In the streets. They were. Um, oh, and there was a real cool Simpsons toy line. I remember that. Which I I had. They all had holes in the head so you could put different hats on and stuff, didn't they? No, no, no. They, they came with speech bubbles. Oh, is that what that was for? And, like, thought bubbles and stuff like that. Oh, right. I thought that was for um, No, no, no. It was, like, speech bubbles and thought bubbles. And, um, like, yeah, I had Homer back. Back him with the cool skateboard with the skull yeah. on it. And, um, yeah, a few, a few, like, of the Simpsons toys. Um, See, I fucking miss Action Man now we've talked about that. I do. See, I, ne- I never had no sort of, like, connection to it. Trolls. I don't know if you yeah, know Trolls. Tro- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had a thing when we were younger where we would just torture trolls. Did like, you? Like, that was the thing as a kid where me and my friend Johnny, not Johnny that way, but another Johnny. Not our um, No. Um, we would torture trolls and try and find, like, the best ways of torturing them. And one thing that I did was, because um, they made out like that rubber stuff, weren't they? They were like real weird. And I put one of the trolls on my lamp and then tried having the, and then put the light on all night to see what it'd do. And it just fucking melted this troy, on, uh, this troy, this troll onto the bulb. But you couldn't take it off because it was fully, it attached itself to the bulb. So for ages, and I was too scared to tell my parents that I'd obviously like just melted this shit. And it stank. Like, absolutely mm. fucking stank. So then we would just try and, like... We'd have it just attached to this bulb, and I'd just leave it on the on the thing. And then we'd just, like, like poke pencils through its eyes. And, like, we were really messed up. Really fucked up kids when you think about it. Set fire to its hair and just watch its hair going up. Like, I had one with pink hair, and you press its tummy down, like, really hard. And its eyes lit And its li- eyes yeah. would light up. And I think it was, like, you'd make a wish, and if it ended up on the left one... It'd come true. Yeah, or whatever, the other way around. We just used to torture them fuckers. Like, throw them out the window. We used to create, build parachutes ourselves and see if they'd work by throwing them off, like, the roof. Do you remember them little fucking plastic Plastic men, men. yeah, yeah, they're awesome. We used to drive. When I first got a car, we'd drive with a parachute man and then just throw the parachute man out the window Mm. and you'd just see him go, like, Yeah. Go back. There was monsters in my pocket, which were these little Mm. ratchet little things. Uh, Boglins, do you remember them? I remember Boglins. You put them on your fingers and they'd be all like... Eh. Well, no, the the original ones were like... They were big, you put them on a hand. Oh, uh, yeah. I and they're like these big fucking yeah. ugly fucking things. And then they, they released the smaller series to coincide, I think, with... Um, like Frosties or something like that. Uh, where they okay, give yeah. them away in cereals. Yeah. Cereals used to be the fucking bomb. You'd, you'd yeah, buy yeah. cereals for Toys. what had the best toy, not what you liked. And that was the, and, uh, that was the problem with cereals, though. It didn't... They have to stop it because, like, the chemicals run into the cereal sometimes. No, it was something it. stupid, like a kid uh, choked apparently on choked on a toy that they yeah. poured into the thing. But then they got around it and they used to put the toys on top of the yeah, packets. Just, and it was, yeah. like, boring. But then people just used to rob them out the Yeah. Oh, toys. it sucked. I remember um, them days. But, yeah, but Bob never... was cool because they were, they were, like, these weird things. And then you could buy these, like, cages that was just full. Uh, of, like, these cool. weird tiny little boggling things that are real cool. They, do you remember as well, like, you'd never do it the way that you'd see it on TV programmes where they pour the cereal out into the bowl and then the toy happens to fall out. You oh, wouldn't no, do it, like, no, no, you'd no, just no. fucking dig in that shit, wouldn't yeah. you? You'd get your dirty little fucking It was really child gross hands. when you think about it. Yeah, yeah, and you'd just fucking dig through it. I remember you just went past a picture of Stretch Armstrong and I remember always wanting them one of them as a kid. Yeah, but then where, they wanted, like, poisonous or pictures. something. Um, no. I'm sure Stretch Armstrong got cancelled because he was poisonous. No, the, the the original Stretch Armstrong series goes back to, like, the 70s or something. Mm. If you've got an original Stretch Armstrong... Now There's a Boglin there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Boglins, there we go. They were the big ones that you put on your hand. Hot Wheels was the bomb. Hot Wheels, yeah. Hot Wheels, the, the mental tracks that you'd be able to get for Hot Wheels. And Domino Rally as well, I remember that. Yeah, I got one of them for Christmas one time. Domino Rally was awesome. Um, 
but I'd set up and all the pieces were all snapped up in the thingy. So I went back to fucking Debenhams or wherever it was from yeah. the next day and traded it for Croc and Worms. Worms, that is an amazing game. Worms is amazing. Yeah, so there was all them. There's Crest, Crest Team Dummies. I don't know if you remember them. Yeah, yeah. Where they and like they them just and explode and just into fucking bits. smash them into... I never had them, but I remember the advert. Yeah, and I always asked for them every Christmas. Yeah. Never got one. Well, I always asked for a Stretch Armstrong every Christmas. And everyone knows my story of when I asked for a Buzz Lightyear and instead got that freaky mm. doll thing with a spider's mm. body and it was terrifying. But yeah, there was... the. It was really, the late 80s, early 90s was really the time for toys. Yeah. Because yeah. it was just crazy. Like, I had all the wrestling ones. I had the, the well, ring. There was a blue ring. And it had buttons on that you put batteries on it. It go like, oh one, my, yeah, two, yeah. three, ding, ding, ding. My like, friend had one, of one. And you could get, like, um, ladders and stuff for it. And, like, no, 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 not the original series. No, it was just this blue ring. Yeah. And then, um, and I think the adult, the voice box was like an adult module. But, um... And you get the rest as well. You get like uh, Hulk Hogan who'd go like, when yeah. you twist him or press the thing on the back. And I had ran. I loved Man, it Randy when you Savage saw the adverts. And, uh, and like, they'd be like, a wrestler Legion stood there. And then someone would press the button and Hulk Hogan go like, like, and like lock him yeah. down. But it'd be like, boom, whoa. And they'd be like a crowd cheer and everything. I, yeah, I had loads of like um, He Man, Skeletor stuff. And See, I think you can even go into the mid 90s because I. The toys that I had growing up were still pretty awesome. Like, the Action Man toys were amazing. Like, I just kind of... I don't know. They they, they still had that thing, but they, but they weren't as popular. And I don't think there was as much shovelware shite that you didn't really need. Like, I think I think that it started to die out sort of towards the end of the 90s. And, of course, that's video when... video games were less engaging. That's what like, I mean. That's when, when, when video when games started kid. to become more of a thing. And then when they became, like, bigger and, like like, more these huge spectacles of a thing. Um, there was 10 hours in a video game. Yeah, rather yeah. Rather than, true, like, yeah. the half hour it took you to beat Blast Through Mario. Or whatever. Yeah. So, um, because, like, when I was first a kid, like, video games, it wasn't like you played them all day every day like kids mm. do now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, even, it was, even it was me like, growing up. It even, I can remember even right up to the age of, like, 14, 13, 14, where I would still, they'd be there... And you'd go on and, like, don't know if it was raining or whatever, you'd be like, oh, we'll, we'll go on, I don't know, like, a game or whatever, like a racing game or something. But generally speaking, I remember my childhood being playing with toys, like, playing with um, Action Man and stuff, and going out and playing football and stuff. Like, I can't remember at all, like, ever sitting for a full day. I think the first time I sat for a full day and played a game all the way through was the first Halo. Mm. And that was the first time, like, we'd sit and do that. But... Yeah, I just remember growing up, it always been... But to- toys were awesome because there mm. was, like... Like you say, there was no continuity. And yeah, yeah, you just stuff fight stuff and, and you just... I had all, all, all of the, the baddies for Ghostbusters. Yeah. Like everything. And there was one where there was, like, these little brain things and you put them in this green monster and you moved along and then it fired them out and stuff. And there was, cool. there was tons of stuff. And then there was, like, this series, like, of Ghostbusters where... I think if you put water on them, they'd get, like, these weird blobs, like slime blobs oh, on them. And, okay. and there was tons of stuff. And they had, like, these thing, these, um, like, swirly things that would come yeah. out of the guns that you could spin around. So it, it, was, it was really cool. Toys were awesome growing up. Toys, toys, were, toys awesome. were really, really cool. Were really also, I was just going to mention, very quick mention to scale electrics. Yeah, they were fun for like a minute, and then you yeah, and then you got well, they, they fall off the track. But no, we do mental ones. Like we'd put like three scale electric tracks together, and see if we could create like ramps and land it, and then you'd have like a ramp, and then you'd see if you could do it like up onto like dining room table mm. and like stuff like that. Like you create like mental tracks that never work, and they'd always fall apart, but you'd still try. So yeah, sorry, we was gonna finish it on toys are awesome. We was, but yeah, toys are awesome. Toys are awesome. Um. There's no point doing a Brethren topic, so I think we went a bit too long on we Brethren. Did. We did. But yeah, so um, next week, I think, is E3, isn't it? It's E3, so we're going to be discussing, obviously, the results of E3 and, and kind of seeing whose prediction came correct, see, see who wins what, because we've got prizes. Still, there's still probably a chance to get something in, isn't there? If, if you do an E3 prediction, we'll, we'll consider it. Um them Rocky Here's a toy I awesome. never knew came out. Rocky. In a wheelchair. Didn't know that happened. But yeah, 
so yeah, that's so we'll at the see, beginning. We'll it? see next week. Obviously, we're going to cover all the E three things. See mm-hmm. whose predictions right, whose were wrong. Yeah. Um, go check our predictions out. Um, Gabe, welcome the join the Cooper Club. The Cooper Club. Now that's um, something that we have where we provide extra shows for um, people who pay five dollars and up. It's like a monthly subscription thing. It goes right down to if you just want to give us a dollar, that's cool. You'll get things early. Um, just to kind of say, there's a dollar, there's some money, we love you. Um, if you want to do that, there's, uh, go on nintendosushi.com forward slash Cooper Club. There's loads of different, like, tiers and levels that you can, that you can do if you pay different amounts of money a month. So, go check that out. We really appreciate anyone that kind of, um, that, that does join. We try and make sure we provide loads of extra content and try and make sure we give quite a lot back to, to those people that do. If not, then we'll carry on doing this for free, and we love you anyway. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Right, so we'll see you next week. In a bit. Have a good E3. I didn't see what you was doing with Sorry. your hand. There we go.